Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Got a special conversation tonight with an, with an old friend of the podcast of Fanboy Planet and, yeah, of me. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to talk with Keith Champagne, writer, inker. Um, I don't know what I'll say. Still bodybuilder? Because you were doing a lot of weightlifting a, a while ago. Uh, let me oh, see. look at those guns. Look at those guns. Uh, elapsed a uh, weightlifter. Yeah, KC 15s. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> so why we're talking tonight is because I've got in the background uh, Silver Streak. You have it was just announced this week on on another website that a Canadian publishing company has rebranded as Chapter House and Lev Gleason Presents, which is based on a, you know, running Golden Age heroes that are, I guess, public domain, but they went back to the original publisher to get his name or the family blessing or whatever and with a superhero named silver streak and you've written the first story the first arc of silver streak yeah uh to correct you for one second there the, the company's name was chapter house and then okay. they rebranded as comic house comic house okay and from my, my understanding is they're playing with the love gleason golden age characters that are public domain but kind of doing their own iterations of the characters um, Silver Streak, uh, they call it a season, so I wrote season one of Silver Streak. It's a four-shoe arc that I think they're they're serializing in their Love Gleason Presents comic from from what I've seen online. I don't know much more than that as the, the publishing plans. Yeah, it's a, Silver Streak is a book about a hero that runs really fast, kind of like the Flash or Quicksilver, um, but with better shoes, I guess, with better running shoes. Okay, I I don't know much about the character. Uh, I, I know it existed because it was Silver Street Comics and infamous for having the villain, the Yellow Claw, and the first version of Daredevil, which I guess is also being revived by this publisher right. as well. And, uh, and I know Dynamite have been doing their versions of these characters as well. But what... Besides better shoes, that I, I was looking at like cover images of Silver Streak from the '40s. Does that hero fly? Do, you know what differentiates Silver Streak from the Flash? So Silver Streak, um, I mean, this is very much our own version of Silver Streak. It has a couple of basic things in common with the Golden Age Silver Streak. For instance, like Yellow Claw does not appear in season one of Silver Streak. Nor should he. No, yeah. but it's something that could be built up to eventually. Um, the flight thing, I mean, Silver Streak does have powers of flight, but it's not an automatic power. It's something that the character has to um, sort of evolve into or to master uh, the speed powers enough to finally learn how to fly. It's uh, actually just part of the character's evolution in the book or part of the character's journey to access those full powers uh, the full gamut of the speed powers and, you know, unlock, I guess, all the potential uh, inside of that character. So you're telling a story that is basically from day one, new origin. It's basically from day one, yeah. And, and Chapter House or Comic House are um, very smart in that they, they, had a, they have a book called Freelance. Uh, so probably a few years ago, Freelance was... Uh, I'm racking my brain here. I don't have a great memory for a lot of comics. So Freelance had an altercation at a, at a speedway. And one of the cars that was racing crashed because of the altercation. And if the reader were to look really close, the car has the Silver Street emblem on the door. And uh, Freelance saves the driver. And what we'll come to learn is that the driver is actually the Silver Streak. And they carry that over into our you know, our series. Okay. So that's, that's where we start things off. It's sort of a retelling of that event. But for so they very, so very smartly, they introduced the character like in a very like quiet way already a few years ago and then gave it to me and said, do what you want with it. Well, did yeah. they come to you or was it something you had been following their, them as a publisher and said, uh, Hey, I'm, I'm available. I follow every publisher. I mean, as, as a freelancer, I always try to keep my, my, uh, my ear is open and see who's doing what. Um, I think this is a case where I had talked to 
to uh, at the time Chapter House a couple of times about writing something for them, and then they came to me and asked about Silver Streak. And uh, I didn't know a lot about the Golden Age Silver Streak, but I like characters that run really fast. And uh, I said yes, and we went from there. Okay. And you also, we were uh, we were talking a little bit ago about how for DC, uh, years ago, you had, I, I think, a, a three-issue run on Green Lantern Corps, and you created a group called the Green Lantern Corps. And I, and we, am I right? It was three issues. Yeah, it was three issue, uh, three issue arc. It's been a long time. Uh, and we had a conversation then about it, but you've been posting artwork from a uh, kind of a sequel story, and we've just noticed that. Uh, DC this week on digital has started taking their inventory stories or stories that were uh, finished, but for whatever reason, never actually got published. And they're, uh, I think it's tales from the vault or stories from the vault. I'm not sure yet. I haven't actually logged into my new DC infinity. You app. have an infinity account? I do have an infinity account because I loved DC universe. What it was where I was watching swamp thing and young justice and, and Titans, you know, so and the comics, yeah, they were okay. Uh, <laughs> but now it's all now it's all comics, and I'm kind of excited to catch up on a lot of stuff that I'd missed. So let's talk about you, Keith, <laughs> and, and your Green Lantern. So you've got this Green Lantern sequel story that hopefully, and you've got probably more than one story that sort of, that's in DC inventory. And oh, I, yeah, and I've got a few. I mean, it's it's amazing. I sat down at one point and I calculated how much money DC had paid me over the years to write books that for one reason or another, they just never came out. You know, whether it was a creative team change or an editorial change or, you know, whatever reason, uh, it got pulled from the schedule and put in a drawer. And it was over $30,000 that they had paid me to write this stuff. Uh, but a couple of the big ones would be that Green Lantern uh, Corpse follow-up that Neil Edwards and I had produced for DC. And um, I'm very fond of that whole concept, that the whole team meant a lot to me. And that story arc really put me on the map as a writer. So it was a lot of fun to revisit those characters. Uh, and then it was gonna be published right before Grant Morrison took over Green Lantern. So creative team changed, suddenly there was no place for that story and it went into a drawer. So, you know, these few years later, uh, the artist on that, Neil Edwards, sent me a link to the DC Tales from the Vault book. And it just got me thinking, hey, maybe here's a chance that we can put this out finally. So I'm going to email the editor. And in the meantime, I was looking through the art the past few days uh, and loving it. I was like, wow, we really did a good job on this book. So I've been posting somewhat on my Instagram just, you know, for fun and just to maybe see if anyone else is interested in reading it. And then another big one, um, I had written an issue of Superman that Rick Leonardi and Dan Green drew the hell out of. Uh, and it featured the, the character on the cover, Action Comics number one, this, the screaming guy running away. Ah, oh, that guy. Yeah. And then it couldn't be put out at the time. It was just about to be, to be printed, and there was problems with the Schuster estate with some legal issues with the Action Comics characters from number one. So that got shifted off and put in a drawer forever. And maybe that's another one that we can finally get out there. That was a really special story to me, an idea that I had when I was like 10 years old. And uh, I got to grow up and kind of live that dream. And I'd love to get that. I have a lettered copy of myself, my, my own. I actually lettered it myself just to have a copy to read. But maybe the rest of the world can check it out sometime. That would be cool. And also, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention, of course, you being the regular inker on Dark Horse's Stranger Things book. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Hawkins, Indiana these days. Uh, I don't think I'm, I wouldn't call myself the regular anchor anymore. I think they've branched out to different art teams. But I'm now, I was the regular anchor for a while, and now I'm sort of rotating anchor on different series. And I think they, they last time I talked to them, they were talking about having me write the next one that I do. So that would oh. be a lot, of fun to, a lot of fun to play in that box. That would be great. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, um, it's funny, when I started working on Stranger Things, like suddenly for five minutes, I was cool to my 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 kids' friends. They're like, "Whoa, your dad's doing Stranger Things now." Are you cool to your kids though? No, 
No, okay. It's not just me then. Okay, good. It was my kid. You know, I'm not, they liked me, but they didn't care about comics at all. Oh, oh, that hurts my soul. Uh, <laughs> so, but, you know, things are going well. I mean, and do we have any idea when this Silver Streak will be, or this Lev Gleason Presents will be out? I think it, it comes out starting in April, from what I was told. Okay. And uh, it's, you know, it's a fun book. Definitely uh, a new wrinkle on Super Speed. All right. Cool. Well, Keith, thank you so much for taking the time tonight. I know it's a, it's a little later for you than it is for me, uh, and opposite coast, but thank you so much. And as always, you know, it, it's great to talk to you. Oh, it's good talking to you, Derek. I'm glad we can catch up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs>